Hey, what's up guys? It's Chuck from Brady Adventures and I just got back from an eight day trip with the family where we were camping out of the Land Cruiser. We did some off-roading, we camped in some established campgrounds and we camped in some really wild out there campgrounds as well. We got in late last night and I'm getting ready to unload this thing. Hey guys, this is definitely not meant to be a comprehensive walk around of our rig or the way we have our gear set up. Um, the next morning I got up, I started unpacking things, and I thought you guys might like to see just what it looked like after living out of the Land Cruiser for a couple weeks. There should be links to just about everything that you see in the description below. If you have any particular questions about our setup or our rig, please let us know, and we'll be posting individual videos on a lot of this stuff in the future. So keep your eyes peeled for those, and I hope you enjoy. Thanks a lot. So this drawer on the left is our camp kitchen and everything else that uh, we can possibly cram in here when necessary. Um, we've got a first aid kit in here. We've got this little GSI um, kind of utensils pouch. It has like spatula, spoon, stuff like that. Really compact. Ended up stashing some camera gear in here. We've got our Coleman stove, cutting board, some welding gloves for picking up hot stuff. Um, up underneath here we have a, a cast iron griddle um, that we can use either over a fire or the Coleman stove if we want to. Um, this is just a little waterproof case for the phone. Um, I've also been stashing a few USBs here up in the corner. This is a little portable small first aid kit that I have and I take it in a pack if we go on a hike and this is the bigger one. These tent stakes. I don't know why those got slammed in here. Um, but this is a basin, our silverware, our GSI four person um, kitchen set. Um, this is the siphon for our water can um, and a little spout for it worked perfectly. The jerry can is right in front. Perfectly sized for the half inch hose that came with the siphon that I just put the siphon in, ran the hose out, ran it back there with the nozzle. Like once I get the siphon going, it'll kind of kind of just look like that and people fill up their cups, get a drink, whatever, wash their hands, works pretty good. Honestly, we didn't really get into this drawer too much, mostly just to get the air pump that's in here to, to air up the tires and the air down tool. Um, I've got an ax in here and a hammer that I use for tent stakes and getting wood and stuff, gloves. Uh, look, we found a lucky horseshoe. Um, and um, this is just a little tackle box. Um, that I had right there because we did do a little bit of fishing. This was always the plan, how we were going to pack this out. It ended up being a little tighter than I expected. Right up front here we have our packs. So these are Condor three-day packs and everybody's got their name on their pack. Um, Steph's is here. So that's got basically everything that's personally hers in there clothes, um, everybody's got a headlamp in there and a lantern. Here's one of the kids packs. Um, so this is McKenzie's. This is actually the same as the Condor 3 day, but it's a recon pack. So it has all the same pockets, it's just a little bit smaller. There's her lantern. And everybody's got their name. The cool thing is with these uh, cargo rails um, that I've got, um, everything can be strapped down. This is just a little souvenir I got from the Trogues Brewery. One of those. Um, so here, this is my pack. Uh, I got my Crocs. Usually the kids have their flip-flops and stuff strapped on, but they're out of the vehicle already. Um, so all of that sits right on top of the tent, right? And this is our REI base camp tent. Um, we had this in some torrential rain. It performed flawlessly. So I'm probably going to do this little separate video talking about how well that worked. Basically shoved in the sides here, I've got a sleeping bag, a sleeping bag. Um, we got Brennan's BB gun and we got the Plano cases back here. These two cases worked out way better than I thought they were going to. I actually wish I had a couple more to put on the roof. Um, these tie downs that I used are actually I think for grow lights, um, but they had the D-rings on it so these always stayed attached and all I had to do was pull that rope up onto here and then it's got a little ratchet and I can pull it tight. The top one had our dry food stuff so easy to get out, easy to get to like bread and chips and things like that. And our bottom one had all of our sort of camp fun, uh, random things, toys, candles, um, bug spray, stuff like that. If we're just stopping for a snack we can get this guy out 
if we're stopping for the full camp, we get them both out, and that has all the stuff we need in there. The really awesome thing is just being able to get to the bags in the tent here, or the cases separately, you know, depending on whether you're just needing to get a shirt out of a bag or just get a little bit of food without having to totally unload the whole thing. You can go from either side. Over here, this is the tent footprint. Normally I had this packed in the tent, but it was a little wet, so I was hoping it would air out. Got another pad. This is our sun visor. Definitely gotta have that in the front window. I need to come up with something good for fishing poles. Um, so these guys are just always kind of riding in here and it was always kind of a pain in the butt. Uh, you can see the fridge is packed pretty good. Um, this thing worked really, really good. Um, we did a combination of keeping some ice packs in here, loading it up and getting really cold before we left. Um, I think with the ice packs that we put in, um, the thing didn't even run the whole first day. I had, let's see if you can see that, had some jumper cables, battery charger, some extra propane canisters, and a tarp back there. So that was just kind of like stuff we didn't actually use, but just in case we needed it. Now over on this side, uh, we have a little ring toss game down there, a little mini piano. Um, we've got the extension cord to plug in the fridge uh, or the battery charger and the actual um, fridge wire <coughs> is in there as well. So back seat, I've got Brennan's bag. He decided he wanted to keep that in with him. I could get all four in the back, but it was real tight. Um, we got sweatshirts and shirts to keep everybody warm, people's hats. Um, we've got this little fake Yeti cooler right in the middle. So in here, we just kept extra water, ice, things like that. Um, we could rotate, you know, frozen things into here if we needed to thaw them out and they were a little bit um, too cold in the fridge or whatever. So this is just a little supplemental cooling. These are our Blue Ridge Overland gear seat backs. Um, we got these at the beginning of the trip, so we'll be doing a video on those. The Molly's real nice because they can just hang stuff on here. If you watch my drawer videos, you know that I, I got this say from Amazon. Wasn't really sure if I was going to use it, how I was going to use it. Uh, seemed like a good idea. So in here I've got all my fuses, extra batteries, straps, some 550, a little force protection, um, things, you know, some repair parts and stuff. But it's just end up becoming a place where I need to keep things secure but also just things that I don't get at as much some of the camera stuff I really wanted to get close uh, right up in here I've got my radio in there the awning absolutely was a lifesaver so when we were on top of the mountain we had pouring down rain three or four times and this thing saved our butt it gave us a nice place to hang out <laughs> um, the other thing is I've just decided I, I absolutely have to have a vehicle with the tailgate because this was um, that's where we kept our four chairs and our table only crappy thing with the way the chairs are is if it rains on them which they're totally wet right now then they're wet but we managed to get them out and set them up underneath the tent vestibule and, and dry them out and only had wet chairs maybe one time so I've got tons of these on top it was really nice to be able to reposition them um, you can see a couple in the middle there. I used to tie um, a bunch of bundles of wood to the roof. This, I tied garbage bags to it, camp shower, things like that. Um, but they're just really versatile. In less than an hour, we could get everything out of the vehicle and have the tent totally set up and have the stove run in and, and be cooking some food. Um, and if you figure that the tent setup is probably half of that, um, it's pretty good for a, a family of four to be able to get all that done. And, you know 30 45 minutes um, the Land Cruiser performed flawlessly everybody really enjoyed the trip and even with the bad weather that we had to deal with in the near future I'll be doing a full walk around of everything we have done to the vehicle over the past six eight months still gonna be posting all the individual installation videos and product selection videos a little behind because we we're getting ready for this trip I'll be back to regular posting here in no time thanks very much for checking us out if you like this video please give us a thumbs up and consider subscribing to our channel and always feel free to leave us any comments or questions that you might have.